welcome dear learners to the new session of web technology in this particular session we will be covering hyperlinks introduction to hyperlinks then examples and link to the same documents so here the learning objectives of this particular session is that learners will be knowing what is link what is a hyperlink what are target attributes absolute urls versus relative urls so the basic understanding about the differentiation between urls absolute url and relative urls then learner will be using an image as a link link to an email address types of hyperlinks the internal links external links internal and external links with examples so learners have the hands on examples of various internal and external links of hyperlinks what is link so this is a connection from one web resource to another so anything which is providing the connection from one web resource to another one a link has two ends an anchor and a direction a link starts at a source anchor and points to a target anchor then uh, so what is it all about it is about a link which is starting at a source anchor so there will be a source anchor uh, and the points to the target anchor so uh, whenever we are having we are discussing any link it will be having a source as well as a target anchor so this can be any web resource such as an image video clip sound bit a program html document or element within an html document so it can it can also be used as a link now what is hyperlink html links are hyperlinks so click on the link to jump to the another documents so it is providing basically the path by which we can link to uh, provide the jumping to another documents when we move the mouse over link the mouse arrow changes to a small hand you all have witnessed while net surfing or browsing that if we move the mouse over link suppose uh, the figure is having click here so the mouse arrow which is triangular in nature uh, it converts or it changes itself to a small hand and we are having an idea that it is a hyperlink and it will move towards some another documents if we click over this particular point so click here this is a hyperlink example which all of you have uh, must have witnessed while browsing or net surfing hyperlinks are one of the most exciting innovations the web has to offer these are the most exciting innovations they have been a feature of the web since the beginning making the web the web itself hyperlinks let you link documents to other documents and resources link to specific part of documents and make apps available at web addresses so hyperlinks uh, is having the capability and it let us link document to another documents resources link to specific parts of documents and make apps available at the web addresses almost all web content can be turned into a link so the the web content which we all witness almost all of the web contents can be turned into links so when we click or activate it our web browser will take us to another web address that is url for example the techalmira.com we have taken the example of techalmira.com home page contains many links to various sections of the site that is having navigation features ads etc as well as few articles see the next slide figure 4.5 here we, we are having tech almira then hyperlinks we all are having these hyperlinks java pattern programs it is having these details 
ना वेबसाइट होम पेज इज टेक एलमीरा डॉट कॉम सो हेयर हेयर वी हैव द होम पेज देन द एच टी एम एल ए टैग कंटेन्स डिफाइंस द हाइपर लिंक इट हैज द फॉलोइंग सिंटेक्स नाउ दिस पर्टिकुलर एच टी एम एल ए टैग इज हैविंग ए देन एच रेफ इज द की वर्ड द इक्वल्स टू द एड्रेस ऑफ द यू आर एल अंडर डबल कोर्ट्स डबल कोर्ट्स यू आर एल देन लिंक टेक्सट एंड देन ए टैग इज क्लोज सो हाइपर लिंक सिंटेक्स इज हैविंग दिस ए एच रेफ then equals to url the address of the url then link text what we are providing as a link text and then a tag is closed so this is the syntax for the hyperlink now the most important attribute of the element is the href href attribute which indicates the destination of the link the link text is the part that is visible to the reader clicking on the link text redirects the reader to the specified url address so uh, href is a very very important attribute which indicates the destination of the link what the this link will leads us to now here we have html hyperlink welcome to tech almira now doc type html then html tag then body tag under inside this h1 is the heading html hyperlink is the heading and then h1 tag is closed then paragraph tag p then a href equals to here we are providing the url https then techalmira.com uh, uh, double code is uh, closed then welcome to the techalmira this is our uh, text then a tag is closed and then paragraph tag is closed now the body tag is closed forward slash body and then html tag is closed now this figure sets an example of a hyperlink the output for this is html hyperlink let's focus it that html hyperlink is the heading so it is in the bold and it Uh, it is having uh, greater size then welcome to tech elmira it is the text which we want in our screen which is clickable so now this has become a link because we have provided the basic definition of a href equals to then we have provided the url and welcome to tech elmira so uh, the right side of this screen page is welcome to tech elmira now whenever a user clicks on it it will be directly leading it toward the uh, url techalmira.com so html hyperlink is the heading and welcome to techalmira is the text which has become now link or hyperlink so by default the link will look like this in all browsers unvisited links are underlined which we have not uh, visited uh, uh, till now that is blue visited links are underlined that purple so the blue get converted into purple you all might have uh, witnessed this that the blue underlined blue link it is that we have not visited that particular link or we have not clicked it so far and then it will be converted into purple whenever these are visited or we have already clicked it previously so uh, these are underlined and purple and active links are underlined red so the active link are marked with the red color and it is also it will uh, like all others it will be underlined target attribute by default link pages are displayed in the current browser window to change this we must specify a different target for the link the target attributes specifies where to obtain the linked documents so target attributes uh, wants to specify where to open the linked document the target attribute can have one of the following values that is underscore self default open document is clicked then window tab then underscore blank this is open document in new window or new tab so 
we are having self and blank. Self is by default and it open document in the clicked window. The window is clicked inside the clicked uh, window itself. And then blank, it opens the document in a new window or tab. Then parent. This attribute is opening the document in the parent frame from which it has come already. Then top, open the document in whole pane means uh, it is the opening the document as a whole pane, whole windows. Now we are discussing absolute URLs versus relative URLs. Earlier example uses absolute URLs then full web addresses. So full web addresses is the absolute URLs in the href attribute. So local links link to pages within the same site are specified with relative URLs in which we are providing the pages within the same site. Suppose without the HTTPS www part. So in the relative URL we are not providing the www part. So it will be having without the HTTPS www part. Here are some examples absolute URLs versus relative URLs. Suppose we are having in the coding document doc type then HTML then body and body is containing h2 absolute URLs then h2 tag is closed then p and in the same way like the previous example a href equals to the https techalmira.com the URL of the uh, of the website then click here again a is closed then paragraph is closed then h2 heading is relative URLs h2 so then p then a href images.asp then html images is the uh, text name which is clickable then a is closed and p is closed and the whole html body is closed now by the forward slash and body and then html tag is closed. So here we have example of absolute versus uh, relative URLs. So we have provided two links that is uh, absolute URLs and relative URL. So here we have the absolute URLs is click here that we have marked as a click here in the a href in the first h2 heading and then we have relative URLs. So this is click here click here is the uh, absolute URL and relative URL is HTML images but that, that particular lead to the HTML images. So here we have click here as a, uh, absolute URL and HTML images as a relative URL. Now use an image as a link. So here in, in this example we will be uh, learning that how to use as an image as a link. To use an image as a link, just put the img tag inside the a tag. So here, html body then h2 image as link. Now we have marked this as uh, image as link. Then h2 is closed. Then a href uh, default dot asp image src. So here now in the uh, in the href, we are having the image tag under the a tag. So here a then its attribute are href equals to default then inside this a we are using another attribute image img and image it is providing the source src equals to girl dot gif then alt equals to girl style equals to width then 42 px px means pixel and height 42 pixel and then it is closed a is closed so and body is closed then html is closed. So here HTML example of image as a link. So like we have previously discussed that we have to put this img tag image tag inside the a tag and we have provided the path for the image. So by, by this we can have an image as a link. Link to an email address. Now use mail to inside the href attribute to create a link that opens the user's email program to let them send a new email. So likewise we have a href mail to uh, then colon someone uh, suppose we are, uh, we are providing an email address suppose someone at the rate example.com any uh, email id you can uh, write here then send email is the that particular text we want to show and then a is closed. So this is an example 
of link to an email address. Types of hyperlinks. There are two types of hyperlinks in HTML. One is internal, another is external. Internal links are hyperlinks that direct readers to target pages on your website. Internal links are linked from one page to another within the same domain. An example is in website navigation. So inside the website navigation, we are having the internal tab. The internal links, the benefits of good internal linking are internal links improve the usability with anchor text. Internal links provide the also improve the page ranking, both page view internal link, then internal links reduce bounce rate, internal links also improve the indexing of your website. Now external links. External links are designed to direct customer to click on the link that leaves your website. External links also called outbound links and are an important part of search engine optimization. SEO has a major importance in this part in this. Examples of external links are example.com, someplace.com, etc. So these all are the external links you can provide it. Then the benefits of good external links are external links can help readers. Good external links help improve your website authority. Links to external websites do not affect page ranking. Then external links are equivalent to providing the additional resources to read. External links further help the increase the credibility, credibility of the website. Internal and external link example. So here are some internal and external link. We are having the uh, example then P A H R F. Uh, likewise, previous things are same about dot ASP. Then about it is a link to the about page of the Tech Almira website. So it is the about page, and then. In the second example, we are having the home. So it is the link to the Tech Almira home page on the web. Likewise, uh, we have the output is like uh, in the right hand side of the screen, internal link and external link example. Internal link is about, it is the link to the about page of the Tech Almira website, which we have taken as an example. And then external link is home. It is linked to the Almira, uh, Tech Almira website home page on the web. Now, basic points of remember. HTML stands for hypertext markup language we have discussed. HTML is a standard markup language for creating various web pages. It describes the structure of web page and it is made up of series of elements. HTML documents tell the browser how to display the content. HTML elements label the content such as this is a heading, this is the paragraph, heading is depicted by H and paragraph is by P, this is a link. A hyperlink also called a link or web link contains an address for the destination and acts as a reference for the data. There are two types of hyperlinks internal and external which we have discussed. Now I think that this session will be very beneficial for you and the learners have the learning outcomes as basic understanding of HTML, they understand the internal and external linking, they are having a basic idea of hyperlinks, how to use hyperlinks, advantages of hyperlinks, how one can implement hyperlinks, absolute versus uh, relative links, he, he can have an idea about the absolute and relative links. Thank you dear learners, we will again meet in new session. Thank you so much.